so it is now time for the long awaited demolition. Um, a very exciting part being able to peel back all the modern layers on this property and start to replace and um, reveal really uh, some of the original um, components. Now some of the things that have to stay, some of the things that I want to stay, some of the things that I'm going to find, you know, I'm always going to find workarounds um, for these original components. The first being these old wood fire stoves here. It's quite an interesting characteristic, you know, no one uses stoves like this anymore. So it's something that I really want to stay. We've got two of them in the house, so that's really special. One on each side. So I'm going to find a way to make this a part of the new kitchen. Uh, it's going to be difficult having new components with old components and making it all match. Uh, now the second component of the kitchen that I'm really wanting to stay is the ceiling um, or the lining of the ceiling, uh, which is the old lining boards. Uh, once again, another thing that ties in the rest of the house, so it makes this component of the house seem original, which it is, and I want it to, to continue feeling that way. Um, so lining boards that have got to stay. Now third thing, um, they're not able to stay, unfortunately. I would love to be able to keep the floorboards, but the floor is so out of level. There's a 15 centimeter drop in a three meter distance. So that's, you know, it's quite steep. The floor has to be brought up um, at the joists. I can't go lifting piers up because then it puts the bathroom out of whack in other parts of the house. So the um, sacrifice is just going to have to be made in the kitchen because it's the only rooms that have you know this uneven floor. So the floor is going to have to come up. It is in a really rough condition as well. There was concrete and lino over it at some point, I believe, from looking at previous listings of the property. But the new floor that I put down, I'm going to try and make sure it matches the original and matches the rest of the house as closely as possible. Now for things that are definitely going um, and there's no looking back. The first being the tin that's coming off the wall straight away. The first thing I'm getting into. The second being the bits of random wood trim. I've actually got a bit here that fell off. These are actually decking boards, um, which have been used as like architraves and, and all kinds of things throughout the house to keep the tin on the walls. These are another thing that just have to go. The third thing is the windows. Now with the little stained glass pieces, I know they're only 15 years old because they're aluminium and they are unfortunately just way too big for the, the, the room. Uh, in height that is, the width is perfect. So that's just something that has to go out the windows. They've just unfortunately got to go. All right, so that's enough talking about demolition. Let's go get the drill, hammers and crowbars and everything and get stuck into it. Um, start ripping some of these sheets off the walls and then peeling back the layers and see what we have to work with. So it is the following day, and as you can see behind me here, we made some extensive progress, ripping all that corrugated iron sheeting off and the random bits of uh, you know, wooden trim. It was just decking material, I believe, that they used to uh, used as a bit of a makeshift cornice and uh, skirting board and just to hold bits and pieces together. So that was actually relatively easy to 
to pull off. I'll show you how many screws we pulled out actually. One second. So yeah, uh, definitely not short on screws, that is for sure. Now, as you can see behind me here, that is the wall that we completely ripped off yesterday. Uh, the jeep rock underneath is actually surprisingly, um, you know, in a surprisingly good condition. Uh, I was expecting something much worse, similar to what we saw out in the living room. Now, the next step after this wall is to go ahead and start pulling out this wall here behind me. And I'm hoping it's in a similar condition to what we've found here, where it just needs a bit of patchwork, a good clean and a good uh, coat of paint. Um, and then after I rip that wall off, we're gonna get onto this wall here. Now this is an external wall, so um, there is a lot of work that needs to happen to this wall because behind the tin, I don't actually think there is gyp rock because as I look through some of the screw holes, I can actually see outside, um, which is never a good sign. Uh, so that wall is gonna come off and then these windows are gonna have to come out at some stage because as I mentioned in episode one, uh, got completely new windows, new to the property. Um, that are a more suitable size to the kitchens that I've designed. There is corrugated iron on the outside. We'll get to that in a bit. First of all, let's get this wall ripped out. again today um, it's been a few days now a couple of days now a few issues to tackle today the first one being the rest of the demolition so there's still a few bits of trim and stuff that they've got um, connected to the walls now this side of the room is completely um, demolished for the time being that is because I'm a little bit worried about the structural integrity of this wall now the issue I'm having right here is as I've pulled the sheeting off um, I can see where the previous owners have put in these new um, aluminium windows so obviously these are much larger than the original windows that would have been here. I'm sure there would have been small little wooden ones. Um, and when they've done that, they've put the they've built the framing for it on top of the floorboard. Um, so the framing's very wonky and it's not actually on the bearer as the rest of the wall framing is. Uh, which is an issue because first of all, that one floorboard's holding up the wall. Second issue is I need to change out that window and take the iron cladding, if you'd call it that, off the, off the wall. And then these floorboards need to come up. Now the original sequence of, of tasks was floorboards up, new flooring down, like simultaneously taking the, the iron sheeting off the outside and uh, adding the new cladding, which has actually just arrived this morning, which is why I've been here for three hours already, it's only eight o'clock. The outside's sealed up, the kitchen floor's level, and then we can actually start to get to work um, you know, with the electrical and the plumbing and everything that really needs to be done on the inside. Uh, unfortunately, this window has kind of stuffed that up a little bit and the structure of the wall has kind of stuffed it up a little bit. The fact is these windows are taking up 50% of the wall and I don't actually think the head is still there from the original window. So these windows are kind of holding the wall up. I've got a builder coming around this afternoon to get some advice of what to do, but um, hopefully we can get that sorted out. So yeah, let's get started on the demolition. All right, guys, let's get into it. Brilliant. Don't force me out of burning your society. Don't push me. Work, work on this hallway here. 
So everything was going to plan, everything was going excellent, everything was going well, until I got a call from Telstra. I don't, I don't know, or something like that. Uh. And uh, anyone that's ever had a phone call with a company uh, that's either a telecommunications company, electric company, water company, you yeah. know it takes a long time, it can be very frustrating. Uh, I was on that phone call for two hours, and uh, there's not much you can do in those two hours. Nope. Uh, uh, I did get a little bit done. Nothing productive, of course. There's only so much you can do while you're on the phone answering the same question a hundred times to a hundred different people. Media. So that is it for episode two of Circa 1890. Next episode, we're going to complete the demolition. There's only a little bit left, and then we're going to get straight into the rebuild. So once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, I'd really appreciate any feedback or comments. So yeah, be sure to uh, leave a comment, um, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next episode.